Hey, all my fashionistas and fashionistas out there. It's your plus size fashionista. Mm-hmm. Yep. And this is going to be a video of me telling you guys how I applied at Macy's Estee Lauder and how, you know, the steps and everything is when you apply and do training and when you're on the floor. So if you guys don't know about that, then you guys know what to do. Yeah. Watch it. Uh -huh. Got the worst on the track. Set on the boards. Church. This is Lamar. Wow. Yeah. The statistics shows my on my fashions, divas and dolls. Like I was saying in the intro before. This is going to be a video letting you guys know on the process of how to apply to be a, a beauty advisor, um, training, and what all entails of the job and what you guys will be doing uh, day to day. So, if you guys do not know, I am a, a Estee Lauder beauty advisor and I am employed through... Uh, Macy's so yeah so I'm gonna tell you guys that uh, maybe a while back like in March of this year I applied and you just go on Macy's.com and you apply and I applied to be a beauty advisor at that point of time um, it's about three malls here it's one in Independence Missouri the location that I'm currently working at is uh, another location in Town Center and that is I believe in Lee Summit Missouri and then it's uh, a location that is in the Oak Park Mall and that's in I believe um, in Kansas I think Overland Park Kansas so yeah um, I just went on Macy's.com and applied um, it don't take no longer than maybe about a good 25-35 minutes. So be prepared to, you know, put all your uh, past work experience. Um, uh, what else? They're going to ask you uh, different uh, questions about um, retail and stuff like that. Um, they're going to ask you... Um, your background information like male or female um, address phone number you know things like that um the nearest location of the Macy store that you would like to work at so you have to put three closest locations um once you do that it gets sent to the HR department they take a look at it if they have any openings in that the the uh, three nearest uh, locations that you requested to be working at then they will follow up and send you an email to uh, let you know that uh, you know they would like to uh, have an interview with you and then you guys could go and pick what day and time uh, that uh, you want to do the interview now it's the day you pick and they'll have a list of times available um, from like nine to maybe three so you got to go through that time frame and choose which time that you want to go for the interview then you go to the interview and the interview um, they'll ask you like uh, different situations to where uh, it was a time uh, were there any times where uh, it from your past employer that you know you had uh to face um uh, a challenging situation or a customer how did you um overcome that like questions like that um they're gonna ask you about prior work history um they will ask you um are you available full or part time and um yeah that's about it um after that it's on hr if they have any available spots um available uh the job that you are wanting to work in um see if there are any available spots if they are then you know they will follow up with you and call you to um offer you a position and um then you if you accept accept that position um you would um and then they will ask you um what days are you available to do training because you have to do the macy's training now the, my position that i am i am working in cosmetics at a counter so that is a separate training that you have to do separately with the estee lauder um 
uh, beauty advisor. Um, so that's separate, but we'll get into that more later in this video. Um, the training that I'm telling you guys about is the Macy's training because even though you work at like an Estee Lauder or a, a Clinique or a Clarence or Elizabeth Arden, they have separate training for that, but you still have to do training for Macy's because the counter is located in Macy's. So yeah. So I did a two day training. Um, the first day of training was both days actually was more computer based um it was well the first day was actually um my personal information you have to bring um some source of uh id uh because you will be doing w-2 type of forms because you have to get paid so you have to bring either a uh, social security card birth certificate id um so they gonna take that and then they're gonna photocopy it or whatever for their records and stuff and um also uh to get paid you have two options uh the first option is uh their little check card and it's like a little card or whatever that they put your uh money on or whatever and then you have the option for direct deposit now that's the option everybody uses and that's the option that i use so you have to bring something with your uh bank routing and checking numbers so you could input that in so you get paid now you do get paid uh every week um so yeah i'm not really sure exactly what day because everybody you know varies but every week i know i get paid every week on a friday so that is good um that was the first day of training uh and i got paid i think 760 for the training and my regular hourly wage will be like i think eight eight 50 or something like that if i'm mistaken i'll put it somewhere in this video quotated or in the fashion box below um the second day was more primarily i'm at the computer uh uh the computer yeah the first day was you know w2 and uh, the code of conduct and all that and uh doing some of the little modules in the system you know different things of how the macy's way is and you know magic second day I was completing the rest of the different training modules and stuff like that and then I uh, used uh, the training module on the register uh, and you have to learn how to you know ring stuff up and you know incorporate the Macy's way you know with interacting with you know every customer and basically you know drawing different customers in and you know basically building a report to have that person come back to you and build a sale because at the end of the day we're in retail, so we're in the business of making money. So, yeah. So, that was basically a recap of um, applying to getting a job to um, the interview to the first part of training with Macy's. Now, the second part of training, uh, I've trained with uh, an Estee Lauder employee, and it was buddy training. Now, that is, I was on the floor actually basically shadowing her and seeing uh what she does on a day-to-day -day basis i uh helped her ring out customers i helped her um uh color uh match customers um i made a couple sales uh for her so that what that entailed and just so happened the same day that i trained was the same day that i was put on the floor for my first time so um that's basically what you do you build a rapport with customers you have customers that's been um shopping there at that counter or at your counter for a long time so you're dealing with uh, a lot of older women macy's it uh, not macy's but um estee lauder is a a, a line that's geared to um not just for older women but you would think that but that was based on you know older women uh now nowadays fast forward to 2015 a lot of younger women uh shop with estee lauder it's not just a older women line women of all walks of life all ages all creeds all colors shop with estee lauder um um my experience as being a beauty advisor it's been like four days um i can tell you that you're not gonna be um making people up doing makeovers all the time um you're not gonna be doing that all the time even though that you know 
is incorporated with what you do but if you think that oh you're just going to be beating faces all day that's not it honeys uh mainly you're going to be on your feet for eight nine ten hours um sometimes you won't even have a, a lot of sales that's just the name of the game this is retail i mean sometimes you'll have a busy high point which you'll have you'll be slammed with customers and then sometimes you won't um uh, it's times where you know you have to restock um, you have to clean um, your counter um, you have to replenish stock um, I know personally since it is the holiday season and Christmas is vastly approaching um, I know uh, a number one seller with uh, me um, particularly is you know the gift sets the gift sets that has perfume and lotion and the little mini roller balls the travel ones you could take with instead of taking the big big perfumes um as well as i've been doing a lot of color matching a lot of women do not know the exact shade um to get um because if you you know not saying if you're you're new to makeup but if you're not new to makeup you know you don't know your correct shade so you have to match people as well as um you have people that you know do know their shade but they don't know it so you know you have to match them and some customers uh take pictures and oh i'm this or they know the shade that they wear um so that is awesome um, as well as the other counters have been very helpful to me, welcoming me in, helping me. Like the matte girls are awesome. Um, the line comb ladies are awesome. Uh, the Clarence and Elizabeth Arden counters there and uh, Clinique counters are just awesome. So, yes, this experience is a, an experience that I've been trying to do for almost two years now. And it's kind of crazy because... Um, like in March, I applied at another Macy's location. It was the Oak Park uh, location and everything went great. And also when you try to, I forgot, let me fast forward. I'm sorry, you guys, because I tried to make this, you know, go in order, but I forgot this as well. If you're uh, applying for Estee Lauder, you have to do something called Talent Plus. I forgot about that. Talent Plus is like, uh, an interview over the phone and they ask you a series of questions to see you know what are your strong points because a lot of people strong points are just on selling a lot of people are more creative and mine were a mixture of both I, I'm a, I've been in the retail game for years at least 11 years now I've worked at various places so I have tons of retail under my belt and I do makeup as well so is like the best of both worlds and not a lot of people that I've uh, talked to that said you know they either have one or the other either they're really their strong point is selling and they really can't do makeup or they really can do makeup really good and the their selling is not that good so I have the best of both worlds so they're looking for people like that but I don't know what happened with that because I talked to the big wig and Estee Lauder and she either wanted me to get in there or Clinique but I don't know what happened fast forward now the whole story I told you that's what happened and I'm happy I feel that you know it was God that it didn't happen then it happened now so I'm very very happy and I'm just gonna ride this roller coaster till the wheels fall off but yeah honeys if you want to know any more anything else I'm sorry this video is super 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 long but I wanted to put everything together I didn't want to like separate it because I've seen a lot of videos on this particular subject and it's like chopped in like parts I don't have time for that and I'm off today so I just figured I'd put everything together so if you guys have any more comments questions or concerns you want to know anything else i will tell you so yeah y'all that's it mm-hmm yep bye honeys hey honeys i hope you guys like this video and y'all should follow me on my social media networking sites follow me at instagram lala honey 06 honey my contour instagram snapchat lala honey 06 periscope lala honey 06 mm-hmm yep bye honeys